Rip or treat, happy Halloween from your Uncle Icky Baby. The sedated native is back once again to bring you more tales of psychedelic past. Um, in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys about my most recent mushroom trip that was literally out of this fucking world. I got abducted by the psilocybin aliens, dude. I went to the sun realm and shit, it was fucking crazy. So let's jump straight into this. <laughs> it happened about two weeks ago. I was with my girlfriend Darling and my best friend Hope and we were all headed to this uh, desert rave, right? Pop a couple tabs, listen to some EDM, and shake our little booties till the morning. However, that didn't happen. On our way over there, we were greeted by two Maricopa County sheriffs that were just waiting for someone to lure them to this rave. Of course, it had to be us. Now, we did have two options. We could have led them down the wrong path, potentially getting us pulled over or lost or both. Fuck that. Or just let the inevitable happen. They were going to follow someone to this rave. It just had to be us. So we pull up. <laughs> cops are behind us. Um, we get to the door, guys, ready to take our money. Like, yeah, it's gonna be five dollars a head. I'm like, nah, not happening. Cops, cops, cops. He's like, oh shit, get the fuck out of here, and takes off running. So we pull up to the rave. I had to let everybody know, like, yo, it's like, hide your drugs, man. Like, shit's about to go down. So I get out, run over there. I'm like, beow, beow, beow. you are all under arrest for raving. Like, yeah, this shit's about to get busted, man. And then right when I said that, like, cops started walking up with flashlights and shit. Now, I'm going to stop right there real quick. The last time I was at a desert event that got busted, it was by the Pinal County Sheriff's Office. These guys are fucking dicks, dude. Like, these are the guys that in high school got swirled and wedged every single day, and their girlfriends cheated on them with the whole football team. They're like, man, I hate my life. I'm just going to become a cop. I'm talking, like, yelling at everyone, arresting people, just being all around fucking dicks, dude. Now, these guys, back to the story... We're really cool. They came up to everyone like, all right, guys, look, you guys can't be here. Um, don't drive drunk. Everyone stay safe and get the fuck out of here. So, you know, they're answering all of our questions and shit. Like, oh, why can't we rave here, bro? You want a light show and shit? <laughs> like, um, no, they're just like, they're really being really cool. So we left. Um, the night was still young. So I don't know whose idea it was to go to the lake, but we ended up going to a lake, uh, Lake Pleasant in Arizona, this gigantic, fast lake. Dude, it's badass. Um, we make our way over there. We're driving around, like, trying to find a spot. We just keep running into fishermen and, like, dead ends and shit. Finally, I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to get out and ask these dudes. Like, they've probably been here and know the, like, area around us. So I get out. I'm like, hey, um, yeah, man, me and my friends are, like, wanting to chill by the lake, but we don't want to bother anyone. We want, like, a secluded spot. You know any good spots that might fit that description? And um, dude's like, yeah, bro, like, uh, all you want to go over there, follow this. There's a parking lot, and over there, there's like, uh, you know, a little shit. I'm like, okay, cool. Hey, dude, you want to smoke some pot? <laughs> I'm like, what, dude? I had to be 50 years old. I'm like, fuck yeah, I'll smoke some goddamn weed. Give me that shit. So I'm like sitting there, like, smoking a ball of these guys. And they're like, yeah, man, I hope your night's going good and shit. I'm like, yeah, dude, it's about to get way better. We're about to go eat mushrooms and shit. <laughs> they're like, oh, fuck yeah, dude, far out, bro. <laughs> I'm like, all right, see you later. So we go to that parking lot they told us to. We get out, um, you know, grab a blanket and shit, uh, start walking down this, like, cliff. Like, you know, we see the water, so, like, there has to be, like, a sandy, banky area to chill by. We got to the water, and there was, like, a fucking, like, 10 to 15 foot drop. Like, and there's nothing down there but just, like, water. I'm like, well, that's not happening. So we're still, like, scaling the side of this cliff, dodging, like, fucking jumping cactus and shit and we get to like this road that they were talking about however it was even bigger of a drop so there's no way we can get there but we see like this really awesome spot that would be ideal to chill at we're like hmm, how do we get there so we all just sit down take a little break because this shit was hard bro it was steep as fuck um while we're sitting there hope pulls out the mushrooms and like she's like here grab as many as you want so I, my dose was, ideal dose was two grams. So I grab, you know, a couple stems, a couple caps, eyeball. I'm like, okay, cool. So she eats hers. Um, my girlfriend, Darling, didn't eat um, mushrooms. She took two tabs of LSD. I think they were gel tabs. I don't remember. But yeah, I'm like, all right, cool. But we realized I mean, when we are eating the mushrooms, like, fuck, we don't have water. We're gonna, that's that's uh, essential, you know what I mean? We need to go back to the car. Like, let's go back to the car, and then we'll find our way to that spot easier so we get you know to the car which took about 15 minutes oh shit i almost forgot within that uh, period of time and shortly after hope ate the mushrooms she puked them up she's like god damn it i just threw up like an eighth 
my stomach's fine. I'm like, fuck, so I'm gonna be tripping here soon. Like, oh, fuck. So we get to the car, and by that point, I'm like, oh, I'm feeling pretty funky, baby. So we grab our water or whatever, we start walking. And by the time we get to the uh, to that spot, you know, and it was hard to get to because there was like chain link fence of rocks. We had to like be careful not to fucking slip and smash our head in. Um, finally get down there. I'm fucking like flying high, baby. I'm on a magic carpet, dude. Like I'm fucking just dancing around, dude. Like there's fucking like rainbows behind my hands and shit like that. This was during a meteor shower. So like we're sitting there staring at the sky and every now and then you'd see like a line of light go by and it was just so fucking cool. Not only that, but the water, like there was like a line of boats like in the distance that, you know, some of them had like Christmas lights or colorful lights on there and they're reflecting off the water and the waves of the water made it look like they were like sound waves or something like that coming towards us. It was incredible. Boats are passing by with like LED lights and shit. We're making a joke like, hey, come like drive in a circle. I want a light show. <laughs> and uh yeah, no, it's super funny. Um, we're all coming up having, you know, conscious talk, talking about psychedelics and like, oh, this one time, you know, this time and like, blah, 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 blah. Um, I was started to like really, like really have just, my visuals were going fucking crazy. Like around the whole horizon, I was seeing this net, like this psychedelic net, like millions and millions and millions of patterns. It was like green, red, and blue just all over. And I'm just blown away by it. Like, holy fuck. At this time, Hope starts eating more mushrooms. Like, I'm telling her about it. Like, yeah, this is fucking crazy, guys. Like, so she's like, I'm eating more mushrooms. So when she starts eating mushrooms, like, I don't know, man. Like, my body started to get hot. I'm like holding on to my girlfriend. And like, just like my body temperature is raising. And I don't know, like my palms are sweaty. Knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on my sweater already. Mom's spaghetti, bitch. I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? So I just kind of like lay it, like lay my head on her shoulder, and like, I don't know, like I just feel so like, like nervous, like, like anxious, like oh fuck. It's just one of those moments where like you like it's the the balance, you know, like it's either gonna be a good trip or it's gonna be a bad trip, and it's like fuck. I'm falling. I'm leaning. Like I don't know. And at that moment, I said those four fucking words, man, that we have all said, those four dreadful words, I ate too much, fuck, and I'm like, nah, dude, just, I'm, I'm just thinking, like, all right, dude, just calm down, dude, you got this, man, just, just breathe, like, you got this, you're Icarus, dude, you got this, I'm like, no, I don't got this, I don't got this, and I'm like, at this point, like, before I was all dancing and talkative and stuff like that, like, now my whole, like, demeanor's changed, I'm just hang hanging on to her for dear life, she was keeping me really grounded, and, um, no, they both kind of took notice. Like, are you, are you okay? Like, I'm like, oh, no, I'm fine. I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just living it, man. And I'm just like, in my mind, I'm like, ah! <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, at that point, like, I had to pee, like, really bad. Like, I was almost about to piss myself, but I didn't want to let go of her because she was keeping me grounded. Like, I was like, fuck, like, I just got to pee. I got to pee. And I was like, worked up the courage to finally get up and go pee. So I get up to, I'm like, hey guys, I'm gonna you know, take a quick squeege, um, go over there to my urinal rock or whatever and like pull my little wee wee out <laughs> and uh, to attempt to piss, but I can't pee. Like it just stopped, like I no longer had to pee. And I was just confused me like, what the fuck dude? And like, I'm so dizzy at this point. I'm just like leaning on this rock, I'm like fuck dude, like <laughs> like trying to piss. I'm like, well, whatever, fuck it. And I go to sit back down hold on to her again and I have to piss again like really bad and I'm like why the fuck is it like what the fuck so like literally I was only back for like two minutes and I was like fuck this and like got up and then I was like oh where are you going I'm like I have to pee and they're like you just went pee I didn't pee it wouldn't let me pee like I don't know and they're like are you okay I'm like I'm fine I'm fine I'm fine so I go back try to pee and like dude like Oh my God, like I was like blinded by hallucinations. Like under my eyes, I was just seeing like all this color. And when I'd open it, it'd be like projected onto like everything around me. So I'm just trying to hang on to reality and pee. And I think I might have pissed a little bit, but then I went back and sat down. And like this is where all hell broke loose. This is where I got abducted, man. Like I was, I was hanging on, hanging on my girlfriend. I was drinking this water 
and I'm closing my eyes and I start to see all these triangles like forming, like in a circle, like triangle, 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 it looked like a star, right? And they were just like, were first like fucking shit tons of them. They're all flashing psychedelic colors. And then they just kept growing and growing and growing and growing. And then they all turned into like warm colors, like red, orange, um, like mangoes. I don't know, like just really like bright, like warm colors. Right? And like I just started to like lose connection. Like I couldn't hear anybody. I couldn't feel anything. All I could see is like I was just in this dimension. Like I call it the infinity star or the sun realm or something like that. And like I think it was like my subconscious talking to me or maybe a higher power talking to me. It was just like you're okay. Just surrender. Just surrender. Just let it go. Just let it all go. So I'm like floating through this like space, right? And it's just like it's overwhelming, all of these patterns and colors and like nuts goes on for God knows however long. And like in the middle of this star, like star pattern, like this black hole started to form and eat them all up, like taking away these hallucinations or whatever, you know, I'm kind of like the eagle is landing, bro. So like, I don't know how long it took, but finally it was gone and I could still see like psychedelic lava lamp and shit under my eyes. And I like open my eyes and like my body's fine. Like I'm no longer hot and nervous and sweat, like, you know, anxious or scared or anything. Like I'm good. And I like sit up and I look at both of them. They're both like concerned for me. Like what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm like, yo guys, I'm sorry about that. And they're like, what happened? I'm like, dude, I went to the sun, man. Like, well, I don't even know. And I start to explain it just like I did for you. Like that was fucking crazy, man. And like after that, like we were just, we were sitting there chilling you know, just having great conscious fucking spiritual talk. Um, the boats were really confusing us as one boat drove by that looked like a transformer, bro. Like it looked like it was like morphing into more boats. And all of us were seeing this like, what the fuck is going on? But surprisingly, it really wasn't that big a deal. It was just like, it was just turning and like, it just looked fucking crazy. But like all night, like half my brain was working. Like I couldn't wrap my mind around rational thought because like I was just thinking the dumbest things like, I saw ducks at one point start swimming by and I'm like, are those real ducks? <laughs> and they're, they're looking at me like, of course, no, they're, they're fake ducks. Like, what the fuck? And you just like, there was so many like things like that all night that just were fucking off the walls hilarious. So morning time comes, um, you know, we're just like walking around, me and my girl walking around a little area, um, picking up rocks and looking at underwater caves and shit like that, exploring. Um, all of us just kind of start self-motivating each other, talking about, you know, life and, you know, we're all strong and shit like that. Cotton candy sky, fucking incredible, beautiful sunrise. It was really fucking awesome, dude. And that's pretty much, I mean, what happened. It was, it was really, really moving, dude. Really fucking moving to have that happen. Like I have broken through on mushrooms before, but fuck man, like not in a long time. So yeah, it was, it was crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed, um, Rest in peace, Smiley. This one was for you, buddy. Everybody, stay smiling. Until next time, folks. I am uh, your weird uncle, always trying to get you to do drugs. Peace, love, and please smoke that DMT.